Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to explain DFC all model, almost all model, the starting circuit of the all DFC controller. How the DFC all controller start our generators. So Today video is about the all DHC controller model starting circuit of the generators. Before the starting the video, I small request to all newcomers. If you are first time on my channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to getting more latest update videos. So let's get started. As you can see here, this is our back side of our controller. wiring inputs and output pins okay first of all all dfc model almost all dfc model and pin number one is negative input and pin number two is positive input okay from the battery and then out from the circuit breaker and then out from the fuses and insert it to the one and two this is the controller power supply okay pin number three after our controller back side terminal points this is the emergency push button input okay as you can see here here we, we have two tiny switches okay when we not providing supply to pin number three which is for the emergency push button this two pins not working pin number four and pin number five this is output for the turning on the fuel and also cranking the engine okay first of all we need to give the input to the emergency push button pin number three as you can see here this is our battery positive and then out from the fuse and then giving to the emergency push button nc and then out from the nc and provided to pin number three of the dfc controller okay now this controller is activated ready to starting and ready to work in. now pin number four for turning on the fuel pin number five to cranking the engine as you can see here we have two relays one is for the fuel turning on one is for the starting okay first of all as you can see here what will happen when we press the green button of the DFC controller? The DFC controller close the switches for the fuel turning on, fuel the for the starter motor turning on. When this switch is closed, this send positive feed to the relay coils. As you can see here, this is our starter relay. Okay, starter relay one side is a signal from the controller and one side is a grounded okay relay coil have two points one is negative and one is positive for the coil and have also two point no and nc this relay all is no okay when relay is energized the relay close this contact no to nc that's mean normally closed and this and also as you can see here the relay no point we are also provided a positive battery positive to the relay coil no input and then when the relay is closed the relay energized relay close this contacts and out to the starter motor s terminal okay also as you can see here we are provided the big power cable for the starter motor and also the red power cable for the starter motor positive 
and also this is the only the starting signal which is also positive okay instantly this two contacts close when we press the start push button okay this both four and five send the signal one is send the signal for the instantly turning on the fuel and one instantly send the signal to this starter uh, also to the starter relay okay as you can see here this two relay is energized at the same time okay but only the starter relay is energized for till to start the engine that's pin number five is pin number four is stop sending signal to the starter motor okay and the fuel relay is continuously energized and also when the fuel relay in is energized the relay in our context goes to nc and this nc is out from the from the, this points and going to provide it to the fuel stop solenoid turning on the fuel stop solenoid turning on the fuel and also turning on the operate the fuel priming pump electronic fuel priming pump okay this taking fuel from the tank and send back to the fuel injection pump and also this turning on the fuel okay and engine cranking or an engine will start okay as you can see here when we press the push button to start the engine the engine send the, the, the DFC controller send the signal through the pin number 4 and pin number 5 one is to operate the starter motor relay one is to operate the fuel turning on relay okay and engine turning on and start when the fuel is on fuel is priming to the engine injection pump and also starter motor motor is engaged in turning over the engine and we have a good battery the engine cranking and then engine goes to start what will happen when now when we stopping the engine okay when we press the red button the controller close the fuel fuel relay signal and fuel relay is de-energized and also the fuel stop solenoid is goes to stop and also the fuel priming pump is goes to stop and engine is goes to shut down okay this is the complete starting circuit of the almost all dfc controller i hope you will understand anybody have any doubt any problem please write comment below in comment section i will give you the complete detail of about any kind of problem thanks for watching my video see you all next time goodbye